And he says this regarding being gay and Christian, which is an oxymoron, meaning it can, it's impossible. It's like saying a black KKK member. It, it does not exist. So this is the main problem Christians have with uh, gay people. And not all gay people, obviously, but some. Because some of them, they take it a, a step forward. And, and I call them the militant gay. Some people call them the gay mafia because they just take it overboard. That people, for example, like Dave Rubin, a conservative gay, gay guy, he's against, right? Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine. I expect that you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. Let's get right into it because there's beef on the internet, like always. When does it stop? Billy Graham sends out a tweet. Billy Graham is the son of uh, famed preacher Billy Graham. And this is concerning Pete Buttigieg, one of the 20... <laughs> One of the 20 presidential hopefuls for the Democratic Party. He goes on a, uh, it looks like a CNN town hall. And he says this regarding being gay and Christian, which is an oxymoron, meaning it can, it's impossible. It's like saying a black KKK member. It, it does not exist according to the Bible. I'm going to read you one Bible verse. And if you're gay and you're Christian, please tell me how this Bible verse is wrong. But let's get to the tweets first. Franklin uh, Graham, it says, this is the first tweet. It says, presidential candidate and South Bend mayor Pete Buttigieg is right. God doesn't have a political party, but God does have commandments, laws and standards he gives us to live by. God doesn't change. His words is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen to that. Number two, it says, Mayor Bodichuk says he's a gay Christian. As a Christian, I believe the Bible, which defines homosexuality as sin, something to be repenting of, not something to be flaunted, praised, or politicized. The Bible says marriage is between a man and a woman and not between two men, not two women. We forgot about Sodom and Gomorrah, I guess. But let's, 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 let's get into the Bible. This is uh, uh, NIV, New International Version. In this 1 Corinthians 6, we're going to start our verse 9. And it's talking about the wicked and the people that would not inherit the kingdom of heaven. And if you're a Christian, you're supposed to be reading this. Do you not know that the wicked would not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes. And here we go. Nor homosexual offenders. But it keeps going and it doesn't stop there. Nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. A whole bunch of people that will not inherit the kingdom of God, not because Valentine put the rules, not be because Franklin Graham put the rules, but because God put the rules. So a whole bunch of different types of sins are not going to make it into heaven. If, if you are a swindler, if you're a thief, if you, are, if you cheat on your wife like Donald Trump, if he cheats on his wife, guess what? Donald Trump is not going to heaven. Nobody is anybody and, 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 and a whole bunch of sins that the Bible declares as sin and not worthy of entering into the kingdom of heaven. How is it that you could call yourself a gay Christian? So this is the main problem Christians have with uh, gay people and not all gay people, obviously, but some because some of them, they take it a, a step forward. And, and I call them the militant gay. Some people call them the gay mafia because they just take it overboard. That people, for example, like Dave Rubin, a conservative gay gay guy, he's against. Right. Um, the, the, the militant gay people, they want to force you to accept their way. They want to force their ideas on public education they want to force it on kids transgenderism they want to look how they, they want to force it into sports look how these connecticut kids two boys are destroying track um, meets for girls because they're just des destroying the girls yet the lgbt community are, are are pushing for these girls to be demolished by two boys and black on top of that, the fastest people, one of the fastest races on earth, whether you like it or not, this is not racist. They're just fast. These people are the same people. These militant gay people are the same people who are forcing people to bake cakes for them when people don't want to based on their religious, uh, their religious beliefs. These are the same people who are forcing the clerk in Kentucky to write, to sign gay marriage certificate and is in violation of her Christian believes those are the people to see Christians are not forcing gay people to not be Christian. I mean, to be Christian, you have what's called free will. You could do whatever you want with your life as and it doesn't matter whatever you want. Just don't don't force me to accept your way of life because I'm not going to force you to accept my way of life. 
I'm going to preach and do what I got to do because the word of God says I have to, but I'm not going to force it up on top of you like you want to force it on me. Now they're attacking this man saying, oh, blah, 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 whatever. You know what I mean? Because you can't say anything about gay. gay people out there. You're loved. You're very loved, as a matter of fact. God loves you. He died for you. What was it? Last Sunday, he died for you, right? And it was commemorated. He died for you. There's things that he, not man, not me, not Billy, not Billy Graham, right? Nobody, not Franklin Graham. There's some rules that he set out, and he wants you to follow them. If it feels good, and if you like to do it, that doesn't make it right. My body might want to cheat on my wife. That doesn't make it right. My body might want to go drink, smoke, do drugs, go get prostitute. That doesn't make it correct. You know, everybody has their own demons, their own problems. Um, that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Very controversial topic, but I mean, it just doesn't make sense. That's an oxymoron. Gay Christians does not exist. God bless. God speed me, Valentine. Remember to sub. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. You guys are not helping me, man. Don't I deserve a thousand subscribers? Guess not, man. God bless, guys. Really? You made it to the end of the video? Congratulations, you have no life. Go check out one of my other videos. Sub to the channel, give me a like, give me a comment. Check out my other social media, which is Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I do have a life, so I'm not going to be that active, but follow me on there. God bless, God speed me, Valentine. I'm out.